Hello, my name is Omar Rampasad. It's Friday, December 7, 2018. And I'm going to do this, uh, this uh, speech, for lack of a better word, this blurb, I should say, with uh, this detector in my hand. I just started um, um, monitoring the radiation around me. And uh, I found that every time I felt a pain, the detector went off. It could be anywhere in the body, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, um, between the legs, uh, on the behind, back, breasts, it doesn't matter. Um, the detector goes off. So I'm going to do this blurb with the detector in my hand. Um, I'm gonna talk today about um, going to the emergency ward as a result of um, getting cramps in my chest. And uh, I had a uh, swollen ankle on the left side, um, on the left foot, I should say. And, um, and uh, feeling asthmatic and uh, generally not well, I wasn't feeling well, really tired. And um, I have uh, an underlying uh, heart condition that causes regurgitation. So um, I went to the emergency and uh, the doctor did some tests and found very, 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 very high clotting um, agents. Now, uh, maybe my terminology is not correct. Um, from my research, it was the residue left in the bloodstream from broken down clots. And mine was about 1600% higher than normal. So she recommended a CT scan of my lung and my middle area, chest, uh, heart. And uh, that involved putting an IV in and uh, sending contrast dye into your system, into the bloodstream. And um, being in a CT scan uh, uh, for, um, I would say, about a minute. Now, I'm not sure, if not more, I'm not sure um, if all that time in the um, chamber um, whether the radiation was on or not, or not. I'm, not I'm not sure. But um, it took, uh, you know, a few minutes for the whole procedure to be done. Now, I know it's an emergency ward, and um, I did ask quite a few questions. And um, I got some nurses and the doctor mildly upset with me. Uh, the comment from the doctor was, I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't think it was necessary. I wasn't questioning the recommendation. I was questioning the side effects of the radiation and the dye because I had, um, I had a test done years ago where they, I had to drink, um, I believe it was barium, and I got really, 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 really sick for months. I was nauseous, I was bloated. Um, I couldn't breathe. I had a really bad reaction. So I was asking about the, um, the dye. And of course, being an emergency ward and people are very busy, very stressed out. Um, you know, sometimes you get short answers. So uh, anyways, um, so I came home the next day um, after the, having done the, the procedure and um, I was feeling really, really tired, like completely tired as if a truck ran over me. So I did a bit of research and, um, and uh, found out the, um, that the dye that was iodine based could kill your kidneys basically. Um, and it was supposed to be flushed out of your system in 24 hours. But if it stays in the system, it can um, damage your kidneys and uh, have other side effects as well. And that's not taking into account the radiation itself. So I flushed my system. I did um, a combination of ginger and turmeric tea 
and I drank um, maybe a, a gallon or more a day and um, started feeling a little bit better and I went to work and uh, I was really tired. Uh, by the end of the day I was doing 18 hour days um, and completely exhausted and I, I just couldn't go, go back the next day. So I went to work after t taking two days off and that was Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday I went to work and I couldn't go back on Friday. I was so exhausted. So uh, uh, during the weekend, I, I continued flushing my system and uh, drank a lot of turmeric tea um, and ate a lot of curries with turmeric in it and ginger and cloves um, and uh, drank a lot of green tea as well. And um, I went to work on Monday, but I was still tired by the end of the day. And on Tuesday, they let me go. I was fired, performance related. So anyways, I just wanted to talk about the side effects of CT scans and the dyes that I used. Um, if your doctor recommended it, then you should ask the questions. If you have time to do the research before you do the procedure, um, I recommend that you do do the, the research and make um, an educated judgment call because the radiation is a very, very high level of radiation. And I suffered radiation sickness and uh, it's going on. I did it last Monday, that would have been. Um, so today is the, the 7th and I did it on the 3rd of, um, no, sorry, um, on the 26th of November. So um, it's, um, it's a very um, serious, uh, health-wise, it's a very serious procedure to be done and should not be taken lightly. Of course, there's long-term consequences, but um, short-term, it can also be very disabling um, from both the dye and the radiation. So I'm just now starting to feel better. Um, I'm not 100% there, but uh, I am just um, starting to feel, um, you know, up to to going back to work and, and uh, performing um, performing uh, as I should, on the level that I should be performing. Now, I was doing, a, um, as I said, I was doing some research on the CT scans. And while I agreed with the doctor's recommendation that I did the scan because she thought I had a clot in my system because my feet was swelling as well. Uh, so she thought there was a clot in the system somewhere. Um, and if it was in my lungs, then of course it could cause a heart attack uh, as, as it, if it breaks from the lungs and go into the heart. So it was a bit of an emergency. It was urgent in her judgment call and I agreed with it, so I did it. Um, but, uh, but again, um, it is uh, the little bit of research I did um, I got the impression from the articles that I read that CT scans are recommended um, at times when it's not absolutely necessary and when it's not an emergency situation and, uh, and uh, of course has long-term effects. So for people who are um, not in an emergency situation, not a life and death situation, and uh, considering doing this, this procedure um, as a matter of choice, um, my recommendation is that you think very hard and long and do your research. And if you decide to go along with the recommendation to do the test, protect your, um, do some research to find out what you can do to protect your body from radiation um, what you can do to protect your body from the dyes, like flushing your system afterwards. And if you have a kidney um, ailment, then the dye could actually kill your kidneys off completely. 
and just um, just ask about the level of radiation, how long it's going to take. Ask the questions. Ask the questions. I know some doctors don't like to be second guessed, as I, as the doctor in the emergency said. I wouldn't recommend it if I thought it was not necessary. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, it is your health. And sometimes, like I said, as I, I, I agreed with the doctor's recommendation and so I went along with it, but sometimes uh, recommenda recommendations are made to, um, to not to be sued so that the doctor is not sued, so the doctor can cover um, him or herself um, in, 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 um, in um, difficult situations where she, could, she or he could be sued. So I just wanted to say that. And it's interesting that um, I got, I started getting these uh, feeling asthmatic and nauseous at work after having been there only for a few days. And, um, and I, I was complaining from day one that there was no air circulation in the area. And um, it got really, really hot, at least in my little cubicle. And uh, I just, um, I just, uh, I just was feeling nauseous and tired, really, really tired. So whether there were, I mean, there were clots in my system or else the